very important projects to you right now, and each of them keys on a very specific relationship. I mean, the whole film is important, but if, if that kind of like key relationship at its core doesn't work, the film doesn't work, right? Yeah. So did you screen test with Miles in this case? Give me a sense of sort of when you knew and how you knew that this was going to work. It's funny. This project was around for three years. I read the script three years ago and fell in love with it. It was one of the best scripts I've ever read. And other people were attached, and then they fell out, and then more people were attached, and then they fell out. And the whole time I was like, please just let me be a small role in this movie. It's so good. Um, and then when I finally got the role, James and I, the director, we were throwing names around to each other, like, what about this guy? What about this guy? Oh, he's a great actor. Or he, this guy's really attractive. Or what are we looking for in a setter? And we couldn't find anyone that we thought would be believably charismatic without having to act in a certain manner. Right. And I'll never forget it. I was on vacation, and James called me, and he's like, what about Miles Teller? And the only reference I had to him was Rabbit Hole. So I, it felt right. It was yeah. just one of those moments where you instinctually know it has to be this person. And so I met Miles a week later. James, Miles, and I all went to lunch. And I was expecting him to be like this quiet little introverted guy like he was in the movie, and he was not. If you know Miles Teller at all, he is the opposite of that. And we just naturally hit it off. You guys are, I was saying the same thing to Miles when, I, uh, when he was sitting down here. Um, you guys are very different human beings. And we're all different, obviously. But oh, I mean, we're like, day, like we're like opposite sides of the spectrum, which is why we piss each other off and love each other so intensely. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. So, like, uh, how, how, how do you piss each other off, you think? Do you think it's just sort of like, because I would. We don't actually no, piss know, each other but, off. But, like, you do, I feel like what you do for fun is different, what you, how you relax, what you're interested in, your temperaments. It's like, it's all different, yeah. right? I think we help each other though. He, you know, helps me, I think, have more fun when I can get caught up in being serious. Right. And I think I help him ground himself mm -hmm. in, in a way that's uh, more natural than perhaps some of his other choices. <laughs> but uh, I mean, just like common example, like I'll never, when we're filming, he'd always he'd be like, Shay, you have awful tabbouleh onion breath. And he'd be like, Miles, you have disgusting Gatorade licorice <laughs> nerd's breath. And so that's like our common little, yeah, that you know. That much sums it up, I think, right it's there. It's the perfect example. <laughs> it's the perfect example. Uh, when you think back to this shoot, which I would think is, you know, it's an independent film, but it was probably relatively short. You probably had to just do a lot in a short amount of time. What's the scene or two that you think of with fondness or, or anxiety or... The sex scene. Yeah. Without a doubt. So what? Uh, so, <laughs> so so does it get any less painful to think about now, or what do you what do you look back on it? No, now it's with? my favorite scene in the whole movie. Um, it was both. It sounds so funny to say that, but it really is. It's I I can't think of one single love making scene in any film that I've ever been like, yeah, that's real, or that could actually happen that way. Right. It's just never happened in my personal life, right. so <laughs> I can't relate. But this movie is so genuinely sweet and vulnerable and sensitive and that scene was um it was a very safe it was a nice way for both of us to sort of lose our on-screen virginities because it was a very safe environment and we felt very cared for and everybody was really compassionate towards our needs and to make it not feel exposed or exploitive in any way